What's up, Ram fam? Welcome back to Black Ram GX Gaming. We're here, we're live. We got William Harris in the house. Hello, William. How are you doing? Good to see you today. Gonna to be back now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Good to have you. You came in at a good time because we're starting off the stream um, taking on Melania for the first time. I believe that's who's on the other end of this uh, uh, boss door that I stopped the game right in front of yesterday. So... Uh, this should be interesting. If it's your first time joining us, hey, please drop a follow. Even if you're watching after the stream, we're only four away from 300. So uh would appreciate anyone who goes out their way and drops one. If you've been here before, do what Mr. Dodge did there. Drop uh, the likes, the shares. Do what William and uh, Clinton have done here. Drop in the chat. Clinton, thank you for the like. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing fantastic. I might not be doing so great in a couple minutes when I start taking on Melania. I hear she's awful. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. If you're over there on YouTube also, didn't forget about you. Thanks for watching. And uh, drop a sub if you're new. Like if you're not. Let's uh, get frustrated. I'm sure this is going to be fine. I'm sure it's fine. I got a bet um, against Ryan Montgomery. Not sure when he's going to pop in here. Uh, he said I die at least 20 times to this boss. I said I'd get her in three. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Hey, Ryan, let's get this hype train rolling, buddy. How are you doing? She honestly wasn't close to as bad as I expected. I can't lie, everyone made her seem to be close to impossible. That's how I feel right now, Clinton. I'm, I'm terrified. William Harris, you made it this far yet, buddy? Ryan, thank you for that like. I owe you guys a couple of cheers here. Cheers. Cheat all you want. You're still gonna die. You gonna die. Anyone with a cutscene, I'm a little scared of. She's only got one arm. How bad could she be? Dreamt for so long. Unbeaten, so unbeaten swordswoman. My flesh was dull gold, and my blood. Looks like it was a heck of a loss when that arm was trapped off. Corpse after corpse left in my wake. Ooh. As I awaited his return. Heed my words. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. And I have never known defeat. Until today, first round. Let's go. Until today's second round, let's go. I'm thinking. Might have a slightly better shot. I don't know. Slightly better shot if I don't start in the exact middle of the arena and have time to uh, summon my mimic. Maybe I shouldn't have bothered with the summon on that first try. A lot of maybes. She's running.
Second try. This doesn't feel like the end. What are we looking at? What's happening? Wait. Uh. What's happening? Butterflies doesn't seem that dangerous. start round two all right round three we're uh, we're gonna get it well that wasn't in the brochure so I'm back no problem William William have you made it this far Backhand swing. You can see the ghost of that guy with the, like that super heavy high poise armor, the stone slab shield. <laughs> Does it really take that much armor to win this? I hope not. Alright, so I didn't do it in three, but in five, right? That explosion is insane. She drives right to you and then explodes in such a radius that there's no way you could possibly miss it. She's taking hella damage. Oh, please, 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 please.
damage is mitigated the more range you have away from it. There we go! There we go! Down in four! Awesome, man. Congrats. Thank you. I'm not going to pretend that Rivers of Blood wasn't hugely uh, important there, but... Or that Mimic Summon. These are tools that everybody can get at this point, though. Oh. Big Blossom here now. Mikolas. Tarnished, therefore, didn't expect skill. <laughs> William, hell yeah, thank you for that like. Appreciate you, brother. Cheers. Cheers to that win, by the way. How you been? I'm um, doing good. Doing good. <clears throat> I can honestly say that this game has been uh, pretty frustrating all week. But that's uh, because of the location I'm in. Other than that, it's been solid. Honestly, this uh, wind came a lot faster than I thought it was about to. So, I thought this was going to be like the first hour of the stream. But it's only been 14 nights. Alright, so we're down, or done with the Halic Tree. Um, let's see what we can get at the uh, round table now. Well, how you been? What's been uh, going on with you? Said so the tooth's better, everything's all good there. Create shine flower that explodes with scarlet rot. That looks actually super interesting. I kind of want to double down on Mogwin for like a blood build. Do a lot more blood stuff. I mean, go in the Dragon Knight with blood mix, and it's pretty much been working. This does some blood loss. Blade built into Melania's prosthetic arm through consecration is resistant to rot. Uh, Melania's war. So that is a prosthesis. Symbolized uh, her victories. Some claim to have seen uh, wings when the weapon was raised aloft. Wings of fierce determination that have never known defeat. Unique skill, waterfowl dance. Performs a series of one footstep leaps in the manner of... Oh, I've seen this. That's what she just did to me, but I've seen other players using it. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to start just burning these. She's weak to ble uh, bleed. That's good. That explains a lot. She went down like a sack of potatoes. Once I started to know her moves. And I was kind of figuring her timing out pretty quickly. Um, which I have been avoiding watching videos of her fight like the plague. But I think there's a point when you're playing this game that you just kind of catch it. Figure it out. You gonna play some armor reforger tomorrow? See what that's all about. Ooh, you're gonna have to tell me then. I did see there was a trial, so I thought I might try it. 
I've never played an Arma game because they were always all PC. I've only had a PC uh, that was capable of doing much gaming in the last few years. Oh, I can dupe anything. I don't need to have it in my possession. Well, that's good to know. I've been wasting my time not duping things. Fire Giant's coming up next. Stay tuned, everybody. Um, Austin Katana make a duplicate of hers. Do two of her dupe, uh, things. I did just dupe her, and I didn't mean to, did I? You must find a useless, for the flame can lead you. Ah, you can only do one. I meant to do this guy. We'll just do his spell. Now, go forth. Oh, thanks. Appreciate the permission. Oh, I don't even have the decks for this thing. Hmm. So I don't need to hold on to that. I feel like that's kind of just in the way. So many arrows. Y'all good at the moment? Hopefully it holds out until it gets removed. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I really, uh... I really couldn't imagine how much that would suck. Oh man, I've been skipping over this Golden Thought thing. Kaiser, thank you for that follow. Hell yeah, cheers. We're only three away now from 300. Appreciate it. Three follows left, I guess. Hell yeah, there is. Oh, man, you're the man. Thanks for popping in and dropping one. Blood flow. Sorceries, no, but incantations, yes. That's exactly why you never played the armor games. Um, because they weren't on console. Makes sense. I'm right there with you. First week you haven't had to go to the dentist, so that's a plus. Yeah, that's huge. I know I've seen them getting it wrong before, where people have to go back every week just to uh, get things fixed. Can? Holy shit, thank you. Guess there's two left. <laughs> That's awesome. Here, cheers. Have the full story. Perhaps the Queen Sorrow was justified. Ah, my apologies. Lost myself for a moment there. Two left now. You guys are awesome. Everyone's coming out of the out of the blue here. You're in a secret. You are a truth. Loving it. Lord's divine fortification. Let's see what that does. Appreciate you guys. Increases affinity, damage, negation for self and alibi. Yeah. Oh, wait, is that the one? It's this one. Greatly increases holy damage, negation. Oh. Nice. I'm kind of interested in doing this blood stuff. Good day. 
still probably need 300. So like, we get that much. Oh, but you gotta find the feathers yourself, huh? Okay, okay. All right, so fire giant. I don't think I'm really missing anything else. I think this maybe comes after the fire giant. I don't really know. Ooh, we gotta activate a great loon though. And I forgot where to go do that. Where and how? I said this was an incantation. Incantation. Man, that one is legit. I can't wait to use some of these. Honestly, I'm finding um mixing some kind of sorcery in is huge all right i couldn't open this before so this has to be it i would bet what mikola and melania being twins have the same tower just like um mogan oh what was his name Something like that. I don't know. I can figure it out. I've got his thingamajig. Level 170? Dang. I was like, I thought I was just 170 the other day. 182. I forget how far I go. I feel like I'm super close to the end of the game here, but... Am I? More got, more got. Okay. Time to go get absolutely rocked by uh, this man now. Nice that Alexander is still a part of this whole thing. Got the giant himself. I 
I'm just wondering if there's any other summons, but this man's just charging in. This jar. He's down! He doesn't seem to mean much. There's no critical hit. Why is he looking at me? Alexander's it was super good for Alexander. And Radigan, he was not good. Do you have a giant nose on his chest and a mouth? What? I'm truly horrified right now. Whatever's happening, freaking me out. That's some Resident Evil ass shit. That's no giant, that's a Cyclops. I don't know why everybody wants help with him. If you just do the Halig tree first, there's nothing worse in the game. Is there anything 
else around here probably isn't but it's worth a little look around Want to complete mine for me once you complete yours? No problem. Send me over your account. You need your username, your password, and your security question and answers. Whatever, uh... You graduated from high school, your mother's maiden name, your first dog, um, name of your first employer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, uh... This wasn't nearly as bad as that Halleck treat, but if you struggle through the Halleck treat, you will be super well off. Because Melania I just fought gave me, well, it was like, what, six, um, 600, maybe six and a half, 100,000? And I didn't even get one level up. I barely got 200,000 from this guy. He does super big damage. And his range is super big. But he's just one of those big enemies that if you stay close to, try to stay under his feet as best you can. His stomps are super slow. Um, he's not that bad. Oh, we're climbing these chains is... Where are you at in the game right now, William? You gotta beat it. interesting. This is the place where the comet lands. I haven't really played since. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, um, no crown. This feels pisky, but let's go for it. Yep, nope. <laughs> Can I take that one back? Can we do a mulligan? I gotta go get my runes and go all the way back around. Oh boy. So sidebar. Um, I know Ryan's been asking me what I was gonna play next, depending on time, because this is starting to feel like it's I feel like I'm wrapping up a lot of this game, but I don't know. There could still be a good portion left. Um, I have my PlayStation 1 in the original box. I even have the original plastic wrap that kept the cords in it and the first controller and all that. So... Oh. Oh. There goes that 200,000. Like nothing. That damn horse. Honestly, the horse can get you through tricky spots so easily, but it's so tricksy that it's easy to get yourself killed on those little spots. I should have been on foot. So anyway, I got my, uh, where am I? This stuff on my elbow's killing me. Don't know why. Um, PS1 out. It still works, it still runs, but I remember that I think games were freezing, or maybe it was freezing get, not getting through the first part. Looked up some reasons why, and it's pretty much just the laser sound issues. And there's a lot of simple things to clean it or fix it. Also, my open tray gets stuck, so it won't close. I think it has to be dark for the... Uh... 
Thanks for my zero runes back. Fucking game. Um, for it to work, probably. And not collect dust in there. And it's super dusty in there, as you can imagine from like a nearly 30 year old console. So I gotta get a few things, dust it out, get some stuff to clean it, see if I can make it work, but I think I can. So that's gonna be Sunday's project. To see if I can restore that thing back to pristine. I already cleaned it up, it was pretty dirty. Man, I was so close to leveling up too, like I should have just used a few runes. Pretty sad that I just threw all those runes away. What's the best way in here? Is it over there? Looks like people are dying all over this thing. To be fair, now I got Arma. I'm probably gonna lose my life to that. If you get the trial, we'll have to play. Yeah, for sure. getting that ps1 it's got to be uh twisted metal or final fantasy i have final fantasies 7 8 and 9 here on the xbox remastered um the only one i have um from back in the day was 9 i never knew anybody with 7 when i was a kid and i never had it it was super early on. Um, and being like one of the most coveted PS1 games, it's pretty hard to get an OG version for a price that makes sense. So I've got that. Got the Legend of Dragoon, which is the one I've been itching to play the most. It's basic. It was like dubbed the Final Fantasy Killer because it was such a good um, JRPG. Um, I do have Twisted Metal 4, I believe. Which was a super good game. I'm going to be real honest. I do not know what I'm doing here. And something heavy should fix it. It should, but most people say it's sticky stuff or whatever inside, and I've noticed the spring's kind of worn out. So I think if I just take it apart, which I already have it mostly apart, you need uh, alcohol, isoproctic, or I'm not saying the right thing, but something along those lines, alcohol. Um, that's what you use for this kind of stuff. Um, so I'm gonna get some of that, get an air can to spray out all the dust, take it apart, clean any grit out. And, uh, yeah. And then it should close on its own after that. My PS2 is kind of weird where it needs, uh, something heavy for it to read the disc. It'll close just fine, but it won't read the disc unless something heavy is on the disc tray. Did I played 8 or 9? Grew up on 7, 10, 10, 2, 13, 14, 15. I think I played 5. I think I played... I actually own one for the NES. I have it just sitting right over there. Um, and I'm pretty sure I played 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 in some degree on like Game Boy Advance and other stuff. I recognize all of them. So I played them all to some degree. This really does feel like the right way down, but it's just not. I 
don't know what I'm doing. I've already lost all my runes. Um, eight or nine were fantastic, though. If you like seven, seven, eight, nine, ten were the best ones they've ever made. In this reporter's opinion. Isopropanol. Is that it? That's it, though. So you guys know. Uh, clean out your PS5 last week. Needed it. I've never actually opened up a console and cleaned it out. I have had two Xboxes, original Xboxes, die. It's just instant death when you pass a certain threshold in there. You don't even need to touch anything. Even my um, original Xbox 360, when other people's would shit out all the time, mine never did. It was super nice. So I'm literally looking it up because I'm just stuck here. I'll talk to my maiden. That makes sense. Ten is my favorite. Got on the PS5. I wish it was remastered I on observed the lands Xbox. Between. This world is in dire need of repair um, and death. Indiscriminate. My order probably Are goes you prepared seven, nine, eight, ten. Everything else after that is all just combined. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. I'm tired. shall burn. Oh, may have been a little late on that one. Burn for the sake of the new lord. It's going to be great thumbnails. That's all I can think. Guiding me here. The one who walks alongside flame shall one day meet the road of destined death. That's the one. That's the thumbnail right there. I didn't know it till I saw it, but... You just become Elden Lord? I don't think so. It's kind of feeling a little end gamey, but I don't think so.
been here before. Just on the outskirts. It's a wild place. So cool. You must be close from that cutscene. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm here, and I want to go back here. Oh, I fall. Anything else marked on the whole map? No? Just this one mark in here? Whoa! <clears throat> Let's not do that. <laughs> But anyway, you let your mate, uh, clean out your uh, PlayStation? Gonna clean the Xbox Series X2? Either warranty anymore, so you need to keep on top of it. Eh, that's probably a smart idea. Yo! Some? Um... Yeah, the 7 Remake never came here the remastered where they hd did it up so there was less pixels they did put that on xbox but no remake i thought the remake to be honest with you had a uh, like a one year exclusivity deal but it's been like two years three years now so it does not come over i would really like to play that um 10 definitely not i remember on ps3 or ps4 i think it was ps3 they did an HD remake or whatever of 10. Now it's super good. Levon, thank you for the like. Cheers. Twister Land. What is it called? Crumbling Farum Azul. One flash per encounter is not that good. You like the remake seven was more fleshed out. I never watched anything on it because my intent was always to play it. Spoiler for you, but no PlayStation to play it on, and since it's not seemingly coming to the other side here. up there then. Oh. So it's exclusive until the whole thing... It's not done? Didn't it come out like three, four years ago now? I thought it came out in like 2018. Okay, now that I found a grace, I can come back here. right here and see if this place is different i had a bit of a spoiler when i was trying to figure out how to get this one item here and i know this place is supposed to change oh it's exactly the same still so there is more to the game yet Cause this ain't open. There's an item all the way down there. I can't see it.
Yeah. Well, hopefully they finish it someday. Be fun to play. Um, what else do I have? Ape Escape was a super baller old game. Um, ooh. Actually, one thing I do want to check out. I don't think I'm going to the right place. Uh, oh, and here. Oh. Things are different. You've done it. What use do you have? I am a finger reader. Do as you please. Now you need. <laughs> Hilt force. Ah. That too we have woven with the flame red hair of the fire giant. Every giant is red of hair, and Radigan was said to have despised his own red locks. Perhaps that was the curse of their kind. You need to skill flame dance. Imbue the red braid with the giant's flame and lash out a wide range of series of agile swings. It's probably good, but we do the pillars. Now do what you will. Let's see if you have any Don't see it. more equipment. No? Okay. Worth looking. I think it was episode based, so they released the first half. Maybe part two came out with next gen release. Haven't really played it. Me too though. Yeah. Yeah, you should. You burned the earth and the round table is ah, no need to for round table hold serve to put a tarnished upon the throne of Elven Lord. And if the earth tree needed to burn for that to happen. And the round table must. I'll stay at the round. I must learn and see it. How could I call myself the. Got it free on PlayStation Plus, and it's definitely worth the play then. Oh, pfft. for the grand price of free. How can you resist, you know? Um, well, I definitely would have paid money for it when it first came out. Take a look around. Don't worry. I'll continue spirit tuning, which is why I need your help. Because Wade's roots are so knotted in that he won't last much long. His shackles are broken. It's high time he put the round table... So a lot of these soldiers are already plus one. I don't know if any of these are actually worth working on. They all look pretty cool though. Um, I knew you'd be back. They had your arms. Yeah. Weren't you listening? Well, uh, I'll have to see what all works when I get that PS1 up and running. If I do, I did see I can get replacement for the power cords for them, which I might do just because the power cords are. The power cord and um, AV cables are super old and almost untrustworthy.
difference between Dragon Cult and Dragon Communion. seal. I'm a little concerned that I haven't run into Nicola yet, but I probably still will. I don't know. We'll see. I'm scared to beat the game and leave something behind. You haven't played through 15 much? Just got, um, just haven't got to them. Try to get into 14, but don't like the subscription model. I have it uh, played 11, 12, 13, or 14 at all. Never even looked at them. Played a bit of 15 because um, Chris and I game share with bottom. This is a super intimidating tornado, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Favorite game ever? Hard to say that I have a favorite ever, but if I did... If I had to think of one... Yeah, you go down! Don't need my mimic. Uh, I would say it's probably... The first Resident Evil. Resident Evil 1 debuted about 26 years ago in 96. Um, it was back when PlayStation 1 games were still the tall cases before they went to the CD-ROM case. One of the original, original, original PlayStation 1 games. Um, basically the birthplace of survival horror. And I didn't even own it as a kid until the director's cut, the third version came out, and probably the worst version. It's known for having um, fart music. Because they changed up the music in the game and they had this guy who's like a folk hero in Japan composer that was this guy who pretended to be deaf and turned out never was deaf. He literally did it for publicity. Just like the worst person ever, and it was the worst song. Oh, also, didn't even write his music. He had a ghostwriter. So that's the version I got. I played the very original version um, at my brother's place when I was a real little kid. First, I just watched everyone else playing it. I was like fascinated by it. 
And I kept wanting to play, I kept wanting to play, as kids do. And they didn't let me play until they were done and bored with it for a little while. So we were in his uh, basement, him, and he was much older than me. And uh, his girlfriend's kid, who was like 17 at the time, I was probably like 6 or 7. And my sister, who was a couple years older than me, 4 years older. And they finally let me play, again, when they were bored and they left the room. And so they left this dark, cold basement with me in the game by myself to play. That's not what I wanted. I was terrified. But after watching them play, all I wanted was to play that game on my own at some point. Finally got the chance. Yeah, I loved it. And so the reason I'd say it's my favorite is because it's my favorite franchise and ever since I've had to have every game they've released, good or bad. So that indicates to me that it must have been pretty decent. Damn. I thought I could just kill him quick. Here's a Skyrim. Closely followed by Witcher 3 and Gun. Ooh, Gun! On the original Xbox and PS2. That was a real good game. Solid game. I love that game, too. I played that through a bunch back in the day. If they remastered that, I'd probably get it and play it. Um, but I think it's pretty forgotten about because it hasn't... Any game that doesn't have a continuing franchise doesn't seem to get remasters. Unfortunately. Like this Legend of Dragoon game that's one of my favorites from PS1 doesn't have a remaster probably never will and like top executives of PlayStation these guys who made it became top executives and got forced onto other projects um, have wanted to go back and do the sequel that they planned and wanted to remaster it and do all this for years and the PlayStation All-Stars game or whatever, like the Smash Bros. version of PlayStation, even had the main character uh, designed up for a DLC character. It just wasn't a good game, so it never got that far. So that series is like plagued with like... Shoulda, woulda, couldas. For no reason. Um, and any other, like, really good one-off game never seems to have a sequel. They just don't. And Skyrim and Oblivion are solid picks. I love those games. I probably spent... A month straight of playing nothing else besides Skyrim when it came out after I first played Oblivion. And I played Oblivion a lot. I love that game. I already said Red Dead, but I feel like Rockstar just copied Gun with a lot of stuff. Oh, did it? You know, I never really played um, Red Dead, as silly as it sounds. I just knew it was an extremely long game. I played GTA. I just didn't want another game where I was gonna be playing forever. But here I am playing this. You know? This is a little different though. Should play uh, Red Dead. Probably be fun. Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen, all the way for you. That's true. I have heard you talk about that one quite a bit, Ryan. So I'm not surprised that's your pick. Like I said, I uh, had a roommate. I saw play that game religiously. Um. 
so he made it look like it was pretty fun. Don't blame me. Especially, too, the story had me in tears at the end. Yeah, the story did look good. The first one, not the first one and the second one, your character dies. those things. Alright, we won't go this way yet. Oh, until I know more about the path I've been on. That looks like a little marine over there. Another boss. Let's see if there's something hidden in here. It's amazing. Oh, I'm sure it is. I saw it on sale. Xbox had a sale about two weeks ago. It was worth like six dollars. I considered it, but I said realistically, when am I ever gonna play this? I have, here's my problem. See y'all. Sorry. This is why I say, do I really need another game? 535, 99 games with gold, 100 plus with Game Pass, 94 with EA Play. So you pretty much round up this to at least 100 on all of them. It's an extra 300. 800 plus things to play Do I really need something else? I mean if something great comes out that I just can't stay away from sure, but um, Something that's older it's hard for me to go back when I have so many things if I spent that six dollars on uh, Dragon's Dogma I Can't guarantee myself that I'd ever play it and then I might have just thrown six dollars on a game that I could potentially play I don't know for sure that I ever will. So I've been bad in the past about buying games just because they were on sale. He did not do that anymore. Close to your collection, 700 on PS5 alone, like 200 or more on Xbox. Damn, that's impressive. Um, I'd say a large amount of that collection is stuff I got through Game Pass. Not Game Pass, I'm game sharing. So the guy I game share with bought a lot. Um, a lot is from games with gold since the beginning of Xbox One. You know, they've been giving out free um, games with gold for a very, very long time. And have just, I think it was every week, or maybe it was every month, maybe every 15 days, something along those lines, I don't remember. Um, they had a new game or two I think it was every half month. I'm pretty sure you got four free games a month. So four free games a month for like, I don't know, the last eight or nine years that Xbox One has been out. And then they've just kind of done away with uh, having to grab them every month and they're just interchangeable, just like Game Pass. Got games you regret buying? I have a lot.
so I don't need to buy any more. Pretty much where I'm at with that. I'm gonna, this one seems like it curls back into nothing, so I'm gonna go down now. Turn games on Xbox though. Uh, on Game Pass and EA Play, yeah. Yeah, and then games the gold's at like what ninety four or whatever it said, so the selection is ginormous just for paying for online alone. I don't even buy pre orders anymore, just because so many times I've pre ordered games and then they're free day one on Xbox. All right, Bossy, where are you? There he is. to get the rot and I think it was working but I need to be closer yeah 15 days I think yeah I, I think so too it took me a while to think about how it worked but pretty sure that's how it worked back in the day No fields how I tried to be. Oh, you're finally there, Ryan. You might be a little more beefed up than I was. Maybe about the same. Honestly, I don't remember uh, when I entered the snow fields, but get ready for a brutal time. William, I buy games I know I'll play on Xbox and previews, basically. Yeah, I, like I need to know like that's the game I'm playing now. That's my next game when I buy something. Otherwise, I'm like, well, I'm not going to buy it now because I don't buy anything at release that I know I'm not going to play immediately. Because it's going to come to Game Pass now or eventually. Or it's going to be on Hella Sale because everything's on sale quick. And unless it's a multiplayer game, Price comes down fast. Anything story driven, the price goes down real quick. You come again. I just got like 20,000 runes for that. That's it. Hmm. Okay. Kill a big strong dragon. Can't jump between rocks. game I'm gonna buy or Saints Row for my birthday and Harry Potter. Harry Potter does look sick. Um, 
I would agree that there's a high chance that I get that. Um, Saints Row, I've never really played them. I played them a little bit here and there, uh, and I thought they were a lot of fun in the very limited time I played them. So, I think I played a little bit of two where I watched somebody play it a long time ago. And whatever the most recent one was that came out, and it had the horde mode, was really funny. So I uh, played that at Cousins while we had some drinks. That was a lot of fun. Now, last week and got the first grace. I'm level 170, so yeah. I got the first grace and then I immediately darted for the map. I got the map right away, and let me tell you, it's a nightmare between the first grace and the map. Cheers. You better be streaming Harry Potter. There's not much I. I play that I don't stream. So that'll be on stream. Although I haven't seen it in the store at all. So don't know if there's even a release date on it or anything. Must not be. No, not like this, not like this, not like this. And we're both dead. Do I at least get those runes for killing him? No. Damn. I'm gonna be Voldemort's evil grandfather. That'd be fun. I feel like uh, being uh, evil in that game would be fun. Although I don't know if I could do it. Honestly, the first time I play any game where I have a choice of being good or evil, I, it's changed for me over the course of my lifetime. When I was a kid, like playing Fable and Knights of the Old Republic, first thing I would do if I had those good or bad decision type games, I was always a dick as a kid. I was just the worst, always evil. My character in Fable had the horns and flies flying around me, pale skin. I looked like shit. And as I got older and matured, I just couldn't do the dicky thing anymore. So I started being the good guy in games more often. damage? I did see that it's a lot of choices. Build your own path. I didn't see all that was um, really allowed with it. What are we doing here? This is gonna be a clip, and I'm gonna put some music on it. I 
I have a lot of clips for tonight's stream already, and I had like two of my last three streams, no clips. None that I really liked. That death blade is real bad, real fast. I'm trying to be the good guy, Harry Potter. You want to go evil first, then play as a good guy? If I'm trying to, uh, achievement, pour it out, and get all the achievements, um, I go back and I do the bad path the second time, but it just kills me a little bit. Like, even going back and playing, um... Halo, I would try to get the Marines to not follow me into battle sometimes because I didn't want to lose another Marine. I wanted to win without anyone on my side dying. And later on, I'm like, eh. You need him in the vehicle at the very least, and that's all I use. I'm gonna get some sleep. Sleep! Alright, that's fair. I trust that you're super tired. Just glad you showed up and that you chatted for a while, Chiefs. Thanks for hanging out. And, uh, well, it's the end of the week for me today. I'm gonna be gone all weekend. And then Sunday I'm working on refurbishing that PS1 and making it uh, work. This is going to be my first attempt at it. I just really hope I don't fuck it up. So cheers. I definitely missed this guy when he first came out of the corner because of that item. Okay, I see that little cave ledge there. Just trying to get a better scope of the area before I jump down. Yeah, I'll have to check that out later. Holy shit, he's huge. Oh, it looks like you have to do this path to some degree. Or you go up that ladder and fall down those rocks. This is just a little safer, huh? There's a dog next to me. Holy shit.
guess I better look around a little here before I go out. Alright, let's check out this cave. This isn't even a cave. And booze it again. I actually stayed up tonight. There was no way I was staying awake last night. Woke up silly early. Yeah, no problem. No problem. I saw you weren't here and I was thinking that you must have uh, either been so tired you couldn't make it or you had to get up super early. Which is fine. I get it. I'm just glad you show up as much as you do being um, so far ahead in the time. Well, that's why I give you a cheers. Amen, brother. Okay. I don't know if I can look this far. Let's see. Yeah, definitely dead. Okay. I want to see what's down there. So there's nothing on these floating rocks. No reason for me to really do this path. So I'm just going to go around and see what's over there. Let's get out. Cheers, hype rolling. Yeah, seriously, we need to. We've only got five reactions tonight. That's far too low. We did get those two follows thanks to uh, Kaiser and Ken super early, and that was super cool. Hell, I appreciate those guys. Oh, this is a little foamy. Cheers. I mean, that's some real real scared of that big guy. Kayla, thank you for that like. Hell yeah. More cheers coming. Any more of these knob gobblers around? Cheers, Kayla. Thank you for that like. And if you didn't see, I posted on my Facebook today. Check it out. Uh, Kayla got me a mouse pad custom made with my logo on it. It's super cool. I'm super excited about it. I just keep looking down at my mouse pad and just seeing my logo with my name on it and everything. And Clinking glasses. It's, it's awesome. I've got a lot of postables. And I'm gonna try to make like a little short TikTok combined video of uh, me trying to refurbish this PlayStation. So stay tuned for that as well. All right, he wasn't bad at all. But if we just beat some ass. Also, Kayla, thank you for the 100 stars. Appreciate you, cheers, cheers. Delicious. Ooh, more bell bearings to take in. I'm just gonna have to remember to do it. 
Samuel. Hell yeah, buddy. Thank you for that like. Appreciate you. How are you doing today? Thanks for stopping in. Loving it. Ooh. So that says 297 up there. I did see one guy put in the notify. Followed, so really. It's 298. Sam, thank you for that uh, share as well. Cheers, cheers. brain slightly hurts after work so <laughs> uh, if I get something wrong that's why I've had a week of cleaning up IT issues and it's been um, a nightmare because it's not even my department every day something else goes wrong and then I field about a bajillion phone calls and try to help people out with new issues it's terrible don't do it. Alright, so I think that's all this. Sam, doing good? How about me? I'm doing great because the week's almost over. Very excited for this weekend. Gonna be a great time. Um, and today, the hype train is rolling. Thanks to uh, Brian, William, Clinton was in here earlier, you, Sam. Um, who else? Kaiser dropping that follow. It said Ken did in the chat as well, but I couldn't see the come up anywhere else. I don't know why. But anyway, it's been amazing. Got a buddy's bachelor party. That should be a good time. It's set up out in like a farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. Um, the guy who set it up got laser tag, bought the, uh, or showed a picture of it. It's like a laser tag company that will come out, bring um, all the obstacles and um, what am I thinking of? I can't think of the right word guards, protection, walls, things like that to use. Um, all the guns, the scanners for your head and your chest to say where you're getting shot. It's like a, a full-on, legit laser tag company that comes to you, essentially. Um, we're doing that. Some lawn. Well beer darts on the lawn if you don't know what that is it's a super fun game you can do it um, with basically any canned drink you th sit in a circle you throw a metal dart at each other it sounds super dangerous and it is and uh, try to pop each other's cans wherever you hit on that can you have to drink down to that line can gets hit three times, you gotta finish your drink. If they penetrate the top of your can, because it's super hard to do, you gotta drink the whole drink. There's a certain point where if it's low enough, you gotta drink the whole drink. This is a fun game to do in a circle. Um, yeah, it's kind of... It's a good social game. Because you can really just do as many people as you want. I think there's some other games that they got playing. A lot of games, which is good. And a buddy of mine, who was actually also a streamer, helped me a lot when I started streaming. You can see I've done a lot of stuff before. So of course, it's just games on games on games all weekend, which is my kind of vibe. 
Sounds fun. Yes, it does. I'm super excited. So... Got a half day of work. And I'm gonna go try to figure out where it is because I don't know and I'm trying not to go there when it's dark. Uh, <laughs> find a farmhouse. I'm told it's like you don't even see the house. You just see the driveway and then it goes way back in. I'm like, there isn't gonna be internet out there. And I'm gonna try to GPS this. I'm definitely gonna get lost. So I'm doing it while there's light out. Also, a good location to start off a horror movie. I, I'm just saying. Farmhouse, middle of nowhere, long driveway, can't even see the house. Good chance we get murdered. So, uh, if I don't come back. What the hell? Shoulder. There's the bastard. If I don't come back, write a horror movie about me. Um, that is all. Oh, you're a big boy. So that should be fun. Open so, open so. Again, the worst thing that could happen is horror movie, wrong turn style, brutally murdered. Absolute worst case scenario. Couldn't be any worse than what I do to these skeletons, you know? Now let's hit this just in case. Did I make it back up? I have to lose. Besides losing itself. Oh, fudge monkeys. I forgot. Yes, monkeys taste like fudge if they're dipped in chocolate. I guess by that logic, anything does, right? <laughs> you never had a fudge monkey before? They're delicious.
It's a phrase, I swear. Look it up. <laughs> if it's not on the interwebs, I made it up. It's me, I made it. I'm the originator, I'm the creator. And I want the credit. Yeah, it was made out of chocolate. <laughs> See? Thank you for playing along, appreciate you. It's clocked in at 184 hours. Thirty minutes. Let's see. Hundred and ten hours, fifty-seven minutes. But you said I was a gaming god, though, so that explains my low time. I'm not a gaming god, but I'm pretty good. You know, I was always told when I was growing up, I got these like super opposable thumbs or whatever. Opposable, well, they're all opposable, but yeah. what am I thinking of? What's the term where they cranked way back? So I was told I was born for games because of the way my thumbs are shaped. And I was always told that's why I was so good at games by uh, <laughs> oh, my family growing up. I'm like, I don't feel like my thumbs make a difference, but, uh, ow, oh, son of a... But they don't hurt. Maybe they're right. I mean, it could be, you know, when I beat Moog the other day, I was wearing that, uh, pink, um, palm tree Hawaiian shirt or whatever, and I said, it's the shirt, it's gotta be. I guess I should have been saying, it's the thumbs, it's gotta be. Okay, I knew he was there. I also didn't mean to do that, but it was kind of funny. Re funny result. I feel like if I make the thumbs joke, no one would get it though. Would it even be a joke? Would it be reality? Caught in a landslide, you no know, escape from reality. Open your eyes, look up to the skies, and see. You know, I watched Dinotopia again recently. I saw it on a streaming service, and I was like, oh man, I remember that from when I was a kid. That'd be cool. Um, Rewatched that through, and. There's the two brothers that land on the island, if you've ever seen it. It's like a th three episode movie that was for TV, but it's basically a really long movie. Um, they have like a poetry class, and they're on this dinosaur island that doesn't connect to the mainland at all. And a guy does that song, and I just laugh so hard because I didn't get it as a kid. I didn't know Queen back then. I didn't know it was Bohemian Rhapsody. Okay, well that was dumb. I thought there was a platform there! That's why you always look down. Man, I'm always so good about looking around before I drop or jump into places. Not today. Not today, cheers. I'm gonna be real honest, it's real hot today. So the beer's going down smooth and it's going down fast. So this isn't the location. I think that's a different hallway that I was trying to jump into than the one I've been in. Haven't had anything since lunch, which was uh, leftover pizza, two slices, so I'm fixing stir fry in the oven. Ooh. That sounds yummy. I'm 
had some pizza yesterday for lunch. Today we had uh, brats and dogs. I had a brat, and the lady had some dogs. Can't eat hot dogs anymore. They just tear my stomach apart. But brats, you know, brats are legit meat. It's real food. Okay, you know what I had in there. So they're delicious, so I had to eat them. That was from like a local uh, butcher. It has a super good reputation. Apparently, because I'm from a big ag area, other people try to take their cows or pigs or whatever in there. Get butchered, get some fresh meat. Not the crap you see in stores. But like good fresh meat. And this meat place tells them they have orders out like eight months. Just can't even get in. Night thoughts. Look at that. They should have strapped ice packs to you. I thought about it. Actually, I did that. Was it last week or two weeks ago when it was really hot? And I literally, I had to not stream the one day because it was too hot. And I didn't want my computer, my Xbox, and all that stuff to burn out. I was working from home the one day. And I tied a towel around my head with an ice pack in it because I was just dripping in sweat just sitting here. I could have gone to the AC downstairs, came up to my office, and sat down within two minutes. I was dripping sweat, so I tried the ice pack strategy. Doesn't work that good. Broccoli, chicken, and seasoning, and potatoes, ooh, cheddar brats, and spicy. I like, I don't have them right now, but I like jalapenos in the brats. delicious stuff. Okay, you bastard. You got me. You just cost around 1400 for an entire cow. Not sure how much it costs now. Not enough to last a year. Well, a whole cow should last you a year, at least. If you had a family of four. You know, two people can usually live off half, to ca half a cow. It's mostly hamburger meat. You should be able to get pretty far on it. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's 1400 anymore. It's probably like 2000 You need like a whole extra freezer that's just that cow though. And even that might not be enough. Like, a quarter cow is too much for my freezer. Because I only have a fridge freezer mix. I don't have a separate one. I need to get some cool air flowing in your direction. Well, supposedly I got a vent on. And it's a second person from the people I rent from. A uh, maintenance guy came in, got it going, who said... Oh, yeah, the second floor will be the same temperature as the first if you have the AC going. And I'm like, that's not how physics works, though. It's literally not how science works. Hot air would prevent that. The cool air sinks down, hot air goes up. So taking the cool air from the first floor and just hoping a vent sucks it up. And that being your solution is uh, not a good solution. So... It'll never be as cool up here, but it might be manageable. Now with the uh, vents flowing, vents have some fans in them, so... 
I don't know. A little bit shysty. That jerry rig system, but... As long as I'm not dying, it works. I mean, it's on right now. AC's on. Fans are flowing. I'm still hot, so... It's not even in the 90s. Love me some steak. Ooh, I just had fillets last night. Made some super good fillets. Um... I try to eat steak at least once a week, if not once every other week. It's costly, for sure. I was trying to dodge that whole time. But, uh... It's worth it. Gotta have steak. Just makes life better. Just feel better. Don't... Like, there's a lot of foods you're gonna eat as you get older that are gonna upset the shit out of your stomach. Steak is not one of them. Might have heart issues if it's the only thing you eat, but, uh... You know, you gotta eat more than red meat. a lot. I can't... You know, a cow is a ginormous animal. And you don't realize how much usable meat is on one of those things until you try to buy even a quarter of one. I could at most get an eighth of a cow. Son of a bitch. I am on a roll with losing hell runes today. I was still 70,000 away from leveling up, so like, it just didn't feel worth it to burn runes. Um, getting myself all the way up to 24 or 240,000. <sighs> but now I'm pissed off. I've lost so much. I want one, but the problem is, as I'm sure you know, in most AC units, they fit near your window, and you pull the window down, maybe fill some fo a little bit of foam on the sides, but it closes the window to the size of the AC unit, right? Well, what happens when your windows don't come down, they go left to right, right? Then you close it so far onto the window, but then there's this huge portion up and down that's left wide open. So what do you do then? Do you just buy an astronomical amount of foam to hold in this entire massive portion and hope that foam, as flimsy as it is, doesn't move around or get sucked out or anything like that? I don't know. I don't know the solution. There are window units made for left right windows but they're rare and they're way more expensive so I'm struggling with is it worth putting the money into for like one season because towards the end of the summer it's no longer going to be worth being needed winter it's not going to be needed and most of next spring it's not going to be needed. So I might need it for like four months, maybe, for this place. And I'm hoping that the next place I pick will have central, central area. I'm going to be a lot pickier. That's a different kind of window. Yeah, it is. It looks neat, it looks cool, um, very designer, but practical is not in its nature. And I, you know, I just don't get it when they built this place, 
we're gonna put a small window unit in a small hole in the wall on the first floor physics second floor gonna get hotter than hell but we'll just put a fan system in the vents that'll somehow magically carry all the cool air up to the rest of the house and then tell everyone that everything you've ever learned about physics is wrong and this will work And then, they also said if it gets real bad to put in a window unit. But they have left and right windows. It sounds like they didn't think at all when they put it together, and then the problems they found out later, and they're like, shit, I don't know how to, I don't know how to solve this. They're not slumlords, but it feels like slumlord solutions. You know, they at least answered the phone. Silence. Never heard of those kind of windows? I've maybe seen them in hotels or something. Maybe. I'm gonna recoup all my runes fighting these knights over and over again and then lose them all again so might do the window unit and see if somebody can help me rig it level of handy. I may be plus one handy. Not a plus ten in the handy department. Need to put more attributes into that in my personal life. I'm thinking that's the boss. It looks like a tree sentinel. And he just doesn't even care that I'm hitting him. Nice. 30,000 runes. Almost back to the 170,000 I lost. I'm so salty. I've lost at least a million runes in the last... <clears throat> over this week. At least. thing is when you absolutely dominate the man like I did. He hit me, what, two times? Maybe three times? And I crushed him down to a sliver of his health. And he just lands that one hit because he's already world winning.
had to really lure him into that one. And you're not like getting jack shit on these knights either. Like you can hit that crow with one arrow and get almost 1400 runes, or 14,000 runes. And then here you are against these guys, getting 2,700. And they're way more threatening than the crows. Also, kind of choosing not to learn their fight patterns. Not dodge them all the time like I should be. Because I'm strong enough where I can pretty much kill them by not. That's kind of a, that's kind of a gamble. Son of a bitch. You're doing two at once. So am I. that light. Appreciate you. How are you doing? Shit. I got overzealous there, Zach. Cheers. Thank you for that like. God, look at that health bar. So close. So close. And yeah, so far. We'll get him. I walked in there with, what, two flasks? This time I'm walking in with ten. Oh, just kidding. Run, run. The panic, the anxiety, it's all coming. the wrong things!
Why did the big one die? Don't care, don't matter, I won. Woo -woo! Can I get a hell yeah? Or a like? Cheers, everybody. <laughs> I assume right here is where I become the Lord. I'm gonna take all these bell bearings in. How many achievements am I down to now? All legendary armaments, surprise I don't have it. All talismans, surprise I don't have it. And six hidden achievements which I'm wagering are likely bosses yet to fight or endings that I haven't done. I know some are endings that I haven't done. high smithing stones at this point. Pretty much all ghost gloverts. I can level up finally after wasting. Well, it would be about level up in a third. Oh, I don't. You know what? It doesn't actually end here because I know maybe it's a specific ending or something. So I pretty much know there's the frenzied flame ending in this. And like the regular ending. There's the dung eater ending. There's like what, 10 or 12 endings? The two graces literally in the rooms right next to each other? Check out this one. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Alright, so. There's some way around to here. Allegedly? Supposed to? Somehow? that whole area, there's that whole area. You're thinking what I'm thinking. This is a bad idea. Yeah. I'd say hella likely. Right past that guy. Well, I only know of one way forward now. This way. 
Oh my god, I had Moog Shackle the whole time and I didn't use it in that fight against him. There's some dumb shit by me. Bet you that Captain tree sentinel or whatever right there that I'm looking at is probably an achievement. This is nutso and I love it. I'm starting to feel like I missed something back there. And that's why I'm not going back towards those places. Time for detour. Oh my god! <sighs> Don't like that! <laughs> like that at all. low patience for these creatures. Alright, there's a bajillion paths. There was going down, which actually I think leads just down. There's this way up here. This way and that way.
Hmm. Okay, we'll get the sword stone first. I think I'm gonna go up before I go down. And I definitely wanna go back. Start up here because there's this whole shiznit down here. Unless. You go forward and ye shall see. This feels like legit the right way. I'm just so eternally confused because everything looks the same. You know what else I thought of? I haven't tried to get inside the tree. Cheers. You'll have to just try to remember, but there's like 20, 30 hours between... When I first, uh... Found that I need to burn the tree to get in it. That's when I actually got it. Okay, well, I guess solution now found. It is a warm, warm, soggy day here. I can't believe I forgot, but I totally saw this. What a monster. P. Alex, hey, thank you for the uh, reaction. And one of the groups, cheers. Looks like that item over there is not been dropped. I can faintly see that item still there. Holy biscuits, how did I not grab that?
I knew I needed to just get that one more hit for that bleed, but I was getting scared. I couldn't roll. I couldn't roll on the stab. I was stuck. That seems to happen a lot. They start these combos and I'm just stuck. Patience is the only thing holding me back. So I'm not displaying a lot of it. Slayer Black Rim here. Alright, so that effectively ends that. So that would have been easier to come around here, obviously, take on these three or four knights and go right there where I can just easily enter to the boss chamber. So now I effectively have to go two directions up and down. Oh, and here, three directions. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Elden Lord. Oh, yeah. That's it. You're gonna get this game, we're going 1v1. Alright, lock in. No. Don't be a monster. That sucks. Distraction at its highest level. I got Nazi right now. Alright. That's better. Kind of. Sort of. What's under there? Nothing.
dog, come back. Oh, there it goes. Oh, no, other guy. So I think I could land on that wall. Move along down there. Which might even be the right way. Oh no, there's climbing down that way. And moving around right below me. Hmm. Let's jump along the wall and go in that way. There is too many directions to go here. It is hurting my brain. Oh wow, so I have to make this jump. Only another 60,000 to lose. It's really not that much. As long as I don't think about it and how much total it's been. Okay, wait, I feel like I've been through here. That's the one that says, ah, detour. That's the way down there. Okay. No time to play, sir. Too busy becoming the Lord. now. See ya. Alright. So we still have two more directions to go after this. Confusingly, this just led me back to where I've been. I'm getting all turned around. So now we just need to go to that grace. I 
interesting. down that way. Go down that way first. Susan, thanks for the like. Cheers. On early tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Uh, Want to drop a like? Be heavily appreciated. Also, we're only a couple follows away from 300 here. It's the end of our week. If anyone hasn't dropped a follow that uh, could, it would be super appreciated. We try to close out this goal of getting to 300. I don't know what's the right way, down or up. Up took a sword stone key. Down doesn't seem right. Could be. Stairs there, and then this path. We got us a crucible knife. Haven't had to fight one of these in a while. To be honest, kind of scared. Nope, and he already knows I'm here. Classic crucible knife maneuver. Wait till you're hearing. Healing. Come up and do the shittiest charge move available. God, I love these guys. It really is a long time between this one and the last one that you fight. The last one I can remember was. Kaelith? Or Nakron? Oh, Nakron's after. If I take the lift down, it'll be faster. I think. I don't know. Cheers. You know, the beer's nice and cool in these Yeti koozies. Now, Yeti doesn't sponsor me, but man, they should. They should also send me free stuff. If anyone here works for the marketing team of Yeti, I'm your guy. Is that guy targeting me already? Did I 
I've got enough time to get close enough. I'm gonna have rat breath him. He had the shiny eyes too, so who's gonna be worth more? I don't know if he always has them or not. I didn't notice it the first time. miss this item. Let me get my runes and I'll come back and get it. It'd be just my luck to really mess up that jump. Without my runes. Because that's pretty much how my day's gone. I've lost a large majority of my runes to... I lost 200,000 to a shitty jump in a place that... I never had to do any of that. Lost another big healthy chunk to these fucking knights. What you mean? Crucible Knights are kind of the worst. I was hoping the column would hold him up. Got his ass. Took me a couple tries, but... And he's worth nothing. What's he worth? Maybe 10,000? I think the most disappointing thing about this place is that none of the enemies are worth any amount of points compared to the snowfields, and they're all just as hard. So it looks like this way leads me to another grace. <clears throat> this is probably the correct way. That one, we'll just jump back to the tower one. Well, 
lot of um, parts of this area lead you back around to where you've already come, and it's kind of confusing layout as is. So it's real easy to get sent backwards. because I'm already past the last grace. Cheers, everybody. This looks like a big area. Appreciate the warnings, buddy. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'll leave some of these things as a surprise. Son of a bitch. I was being careful. I thought I was moving around pretty good. Here's. This is going to be a pain. I've got to get up somewhat early tomorrow. It's going to be a long day. I only have a half a work day, but I got a lot of driving and stuff to do, so I can't be on as late as I was last night. But also, I don't want to be at a point where I'm like, uh, what did I do last week? Where have I been? So, I want to avoid that. Get to the checkpoint here.
pots at? What are you trying to fight? Mimic is currently a little help. This is whole area kind of connects around. Probably know the area that drops into. I've probably been there. I don't know. I know. Oh shit. Three gravel stones and a pittance on runes. Okay, I can kind of see where this drops you down, and it would drop you down in the Dragon Palace or whatever, Dragon Temple. For a secret area, this is uh, huge and seemingly never ending. See, the dragon took a nap. 
You can put them out. I did see uh, a strat for those Godskin Nobles today. Somebody did. They kept putting them to sleep, the big fat ones that are the most troubling. And would just come behind them and wail on them over and over and over and over. Put them to sleep two times and killed them. And I was like, yeah, that's actually kind of impressive. Hey, it's our buddy Alexander. Alexander, it is good to see you. do not know what I've gone through. I've gone through so much. It really needs your help. Ah, hey, buddy. I see you finally made it here yourself. The city you hanging in the air is slowly crumbling. Yes, it is. Sigh. You're certainly a force to be reckoned with, eh? I doubt there's a single soul who could have handled that giant other than you. He was practically a god. Of course, I count myself the great Alexander among many, which means I've but one thing to ask of you. He did help me out. Would you kindly thing. undertake my ordeal? Come and tell me when you're ready. I've been longing to fight a warrior as accomplished as you. Alexander, you want to fight? Then, I take it. then let us begin. We're supposed to be friends. I am the great jar warrior. I am Alexander, no! As I suspected, victory was impossible. This vessel was found lacking. My thanks. I knew you were the stubborn champions. It was a marvelous battle. I implore you, take what I bequeath from inside me. All vessels are destined to one day break. But the great Alexander lived as a warrior to his last. <laughs> So apparently, it, uh, the thing I would do to finish this quest, if I could, would go to Jarbug. And I might still try, but I definitely killed all the Jars there, assuming they were violent, because they're always violent. And I'm pretty sure that quest is dead for me. I'm still curious what I'd get. So I might look it up and just tell you guys. Of course.
Okay, so we can jump down further and collect more items, it seems. Um, down here? That seems like that's about it. Okay, so let's see what we can do with Alex Anders in the hands. It would be the Jar Barn NPC named Jarbug after the village is attacked by poachers. When given a Jar Barn, Alexander's innards will receive the companion Jar Talisman. If you start to type companion, the first thing that comes up is companion Jar Talisman. Talisman given by the jars to their friends raises potency of thrown jars. Through the jars are brought to life by human flesh and blood. They are rather kind, kindly folk. Perhaps they were made to be better than their innards. So all it does is it makes thrown jars stronger, which I don't really use thrown jars. Holy crap, that was a trip. Went through, beat up uh, about 30 skeletons. Fought a dragon, then the great warrior Alexander. I'm not wasting any more runes. These are all going to a level up. An awesome accessory from what else did he give me? Let me see. Shard of Alexander Talisman as well. Oh, how much do I need? 2,000? Bad. Greatly boost the attack power of skills. Oh, turn that shit on. I should kind of rearrange the order of some of these things. Let's see what some of these do quick before I get off. It's a big boulder, that seems cool. Engulf the whole area, kinda cool, kinda cool. Flame towers, cool, cool, cool. Ah, I like them. Okay. Uh, I'm going to end the stream here for the week. Uh, it was a great week. We got through a lot of very difficult and challenging um, parts of the game. We got to 184, although I should be like 186 by now, but who's counting? The amount of lost runes. Whatever, it happens. Um, honestly, throughout the game, I'd probably be... And I think with the higher cost of runes as the game goes along, probably be at least six levels higher. 
uh, if I've never lost a single rune, which, come on, how could you possibly do that? Um, but we did good tonight. Uh, the stream got two new follows, uh, even though it said 297. I said it on the chat, so we should be at 298. Really. Um, let's see what back here says. 299, actually. Somebody else followed offline. So we only got within one follow of getting the 300. Um, not bad. Really wish we could have hit that 300, but uh, that's for next time. You know, we'll get there. Um, hopefully, maybe I'll get one over the weekend from somebody. Appreciate all of you guys who came in here and dropped those uh, follows. You're all awesome. I'm pretty excited to hit that 300 mark. So, hopefully, we're celebrating on Monday. Um, it was a good stream. So, if you're watching live or afterwards uh please drop that follow if you're over there on youtube drop that sub i think we're almost at 70 subs over there which you know it's pretty small for youtube but it's a big jump for me um so appreciate it question of the night is which fabric is made of flax f-l-a-x is it cotton linen wool or silk this is like the what clothes are made of for the most part in ancient human history uh, so we'll come back to the answer for that in a second after you do some shout outs feel free to put your answer in the chat um live or whenever you're watching if you're on youtube doesn't matter put it in there tell me if you got it right at the end um so let's start out with some shout outs here thank you william dodge for the like and share clinton lynch thank you for the like ryan montgomery thank you for the like and hanging out with me the whole time as always you're the man um william harris thank you for the like and chatting with us Clinton also did, did some chat and appreciate you. Uh, Kaiser Del Fierro. First of all, that's a badass name. Secondly, thank you for that follow, my man, and starting off the follow train. We had a, a short follow train there, and it was sick. Uh, appreciate you a lot. LaVon, thank you for the like. Kayla, thank you for the like. The other one was in the chat. I don't know who the third like uh, follow was, but you're amazing. Um, Ken, K-H-E-N. Pretty sure I'm saying that right. I uh, also dropped a follow here in the chat. Ken Matthew Cabanero. Also, super cool name. Appreciate you. Uh, dropped a follow. With the exclamation point notify there. Uh, Kayla, thank you for the like and the 100 stars. That was awesome. Appreciate you. Sam, thank you for the like and share. Zach, thank you for the like. And Susan, thank you for the like. One, one like short of 10 here in the stream. So we're a little low on that number two, but that's all right. It happens. Thursdays. Thursdays are unpredictable. You never know what you're going to get. It's either a lot of people or a lot less people than normal. But it was a fun time. We got through most of this Azura city or whatever. Um, crumbling city. I'm pretty sure I've capped off every NPC quest that I could possibly do without starting the Frenzied Finger um, quest line. Um... Yeah, so I don't know how much we have to do. I got a wager we're pretty close towards the end. So I got to think next week's the last week of Elden Ring. Kind of don't want to end it. It's been a lot of fun. Could do a new game plus run, but I doubt it. It just takes too much time to do another run of. Um, but we'll be I'll be fixing up the PS1 over the weekend. Maybe we'll do some classics here before the quarry comes out. And we'll play that, and then I don't think there's really much of anything. Oh, well, we got the VR coming. We'll be doing some VR stuff over the summer, too, so it'll be exciting. Stick around. Uh, so back to the question tonight. What fabric is um, made of flax? Is it cotton, linen, wool, or silk? Uh, the answer tonight is actually, drum roll, please, well, we'll bounce back to it. I feel like linen, I could be wrong, I'm not a historian on clothing. It was kind of a later um, creation. Silk, you know, really that was only in the Orient in ancient times. It wasn't very widespread. So you would think it's not flax. Flax was more like commoner clothes, and silk would be more higher class. Um, wool? You know, I don't know when they started domesticating sheep and using that, but 
It's definitely not that. The answer is cotton, actually. So whenever agriculture started and they started doing cotton stuff, because before there was agriculture and people were all nomadic, you know, your clothing was made of animal hide. There was no farming. So uh, that's the answer there. Ryan, it's a long game, I know. I mean, I'm going to beat this well before 200 hours, and I could probably speed run through and get the last of the achievements in a second new game plus and do it in under 200 hours, but it might actually be 200 hours. I don't know. I don't want to... I don't know if I want to do it. I picked wool. Wool was probably the best guess besides cotton. Animal domestication is probably right there after agriculture, so... Well done. Brianna, thank you for the like. Hey, look at that. Got us to 10. Cheers. Thank you, Brianna. You're awesome. Appreciate you stopping in here. Um, so we got to 10 reactions. Awesome. We'll be back on uh, Monday then, 6 to 9 Central Standard Time, per the usual. We'll maybe finally beat this game for the longest games I've ever played and uh, go from there. You always get them on tour? On your, oh, on your own time? Yeah, that's fair. These are hard questions. These are hard questions. I'll make sure uh, they're not too easy. If I look at it and I'm like, that's a duh, I try not to put it on there. Because I've done that a few times, and then like 90, 99% of the people who answer get it correct. So, anyway, it was a good night, good week. Appreciate everybody. We'll see you guys next week. Till then, stay fresh, these bags.